Recently, I received a request on how to do the church get up. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. First, I'm going to demonstrate what you brand new people should be doing if you've never done a church get up and you're not confident. I recommend getting yourself a small glass, like a shot get glass or an espresso cup or something like that. Or you can just cut the top off of a bottle of water. And we're going to use that as your weight first. And it's you're going to try to do this without spilling a drop. So let's pretend this is your weight here. Let's pretend it's a heavy, heavy weight. So we always pretend it's heavy no matter what for safety's sake. So you're going to get nestled up nice and tight. Okay. You're going to spoon that weight here and then you're going to get your hand underneath this, this shot glass or whatever it is. And then you're going to brace that weight bearing hand with your, your free hand and pull it in nice and tight. And that way you, you can very easily roll this weight on top of you without a ton of torque on your joints. And now you're going to balance this weight in such a way so that your forearm is straight up and down and the weight is, is straight up and down and this water line is nice and level. And the leg that's on the weight bearing side is going to be bent. The foot is going to be flat because you're going to be driving through the heel on this bent leg. And then the opposite leg is going to be nice and straight and it's going to be uh, splayed out. And that's going to help you give it a, a bit of a tripod effect and give you more stability. Now, when you're ready to go, you're going to go ahead and press this weight straight up over your shoulder so that elbow is locked out. You're going to keep your wrist nice and straight. This water level is going to stay nice and straight here. Shoulder is going to stay packed in socket. All right. And then you're going to use this free leg to push you over and roll you over to your opposite elbow. All right. And then you're going to push yourself up onto your hand, just like you're getting out of bed. All right. Now here's the tricky part. You want to make sure that this hand comes out from your hip at a straight line. If it's too far behind you like this, you're going to have trouble getting your free leg behind you. So get it out to the side a bit. Then you're going to drive through this bent leg, picking those hips up nice and high. And then you're going to just like Johnny on Cobra Kai, you're going to sweep the leg behind you and go to a kneeling position. From here, we can drop the hips and move our body into a lunge position. Check in, make sure the lats tight that weight is stacked over the shoulder, which is over the center of mass. From here, you want to make sure that your feet are far enough apart so you, have, you can drive a good wedge when you stand up. If they're too close together like this, you're going to have a hard time standing up. So make sure they're far enough apart and then balance between both legs. You're going to drive that wedge and stand all the way up. Once you're stable, you have fixation overhead, you're going to step back into that reverse lunge again. Easy down to that knee. Drop those hips, hand out to the side again so that you can sweep the leg, Johnny, back out in front of you. Okay, freeze it for a second for style points. Drop the hips, elbow, shoulder blades, and then weight back down to the chest and shoulder. And when you're finishing up, you're gonna uh, brace that free hand or that weight bearing hand with the free hand and roll it back. All right, so now. Let's do it with weight. Now you need to be starting light. You could pretend that you could use a dumbbell. I have a kettlebell here. That seems to work really well. But this is really developed for wrestlers. So it's uh, meant to develop all that core strength and, and uh, strength and stabilization and weird angles. Like if you had someone on top of you and trying to roll out. So I've got my hand as deep as I can through this window. I'm nice and tight, snuggled up next, next to it. I'm going to go ahead and support my weight bearing hand with my free hand. I'm going to roll this baby on top of me, making sure I've got a good 45 degree angle. That's going to be great for pressing deep hand insertion. I'm balanced here. Good press position. Weight bearing leg is bent. Sole of my foot flat. Okay. Legs are splayed. Press. Check in, make sure everything's locked in nice and straight. Now I'm going to roll to the elbow, to the hand. Make sure that hand's outside of that hip. Hip bridge. 
Sweep the leg. Drop the hips. Even it out. Make sure you've got a good, strong kneeling position, lunge position. Wedge it. Okay, fixate it. Back to the lunge. Knee, hand, sweep, hips, elbow, shoulder blades, and then bell down. And then support that weight bearing hand, roll it on back. All right, so that's the Turkish get up. I hope that's helpful for you. Go ahead, send me a picture or a video of your Turkish get up and let me know in the comments what you think of this. Thanks, I'm Nikolai. See you later.